Hi everyone and very welcome to day 7 BMBF challenge. We are ending our week 2 almost and today we are going to do upper body burn. An upper body burn means we're going to focus arms, shoulders and chest. For that you will need dumbbells and barbell. So barbell weight is not so heavy. I'm using 13 kilos on my bar and I am going to use dumbbells between three kilos up to five. Right, so what you also need is the bottle. Right, so if you are new to this challenge, please find the link in the description box that I have given you the playlist for day one to five. Right, so we're going to move with our warm up. For warm up, you will only need one single dumbbell. Let's do it. Here we go, we'll start with the warm up. First of all, find yourself a good strong position. Bring both arms forward and then over. Palms facing the ceiling. And we've got triple pulse and hug. So pulse, 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 and big hug. So when you hug, you open the back. When you do pulses, you open your chest. So it's a very good start. Nice, good stretch. Take a deep breath. Good. Give me one more. Fantastic. Now pick up one single weight. It could be anything like weight. Bring it up and then circle. We're alternating. So alternating circle, bring it down and then circle it up. And this way. So you keep that dumbbell close. One, two, three, four, back, lift the chest. One, two, three, four, back. Fantastic. Now come to windmill, drop that weight down. Take your feet slightly wide, bring your arms up, bring it down, up. Okay, we're trying to keep our knees slightly straight, but if you need to bend it, that's fine, okay? Keep your chest lifted. And you move your hips slightly with your body weight. As soon as you come down, you're shifting your weight. Good. One more time. And we're going to hit the floor. One press up, one plank rotation. Tricep press up. So get down. Knees or toes. One press up. Rotate. Do it again. Other side. Option to drop your knee down. So you can do press up on your knees and then you can rotate. Good. This is just a warm up guys. Love and work on upper body. We're going to stay down, okay? So lift your knees off the floor, slow mountain climbers. We're aiming to keep our back straight in here. Aiming to stay steady, okay? Abs press, and if you need an option, you can always do one child pose, come back and do two mountain climbers. We're going to stand up with the bar drop this time. Let's go. Pick it up, and let's start our simple jog. Just not too complicated. Only 30 seconds. Lift the chest. If you can, lift your heels. And if you want more option, you can always march, okay? Time. Hope you want. So this is what we will be keeping up for the next few minutes. Let's get to our work. And we're going to do our first round of workout. I have taken one medium to heavy single weight and two light weights. So here's our move. The first one, we're going to work on a bicep single arm row. So we take long step back. We're going to pull that arm to all the way up to hip height, back to knee. Then we switch hand. After that, we do 
Rotation. So here, up, and then rotate and down. You will need light weight for this one. Okay? And of course, you need your bottom for the last one. Three sets back to back in here. Let's go. So we're going to pull the arm, down dumbbell come to your knee height, lift the elbow high, and back. Hinging from hips, back straight, chest is up. You can rest your left hand onto your left thigh while you're working your right side. So we're only working single side. Keep that back straight all the way through. And keep your focus on your arm that you're working on. Stop in here, we switch side. Same thing, just the chain side, okay? So if you're not sure, just want to show you the hand position, make sure you turn your palm, okay? You don't want to do it this way, so your palm's turned. And that way, you are working biceps, okay? Good. Pull that arm. Keep your eye gauge just about a meter away from you so you know your posture is good. We have rotation coming. And take it down. Pick up your light weight. Do a five second transition, which is a good thing, right? One, two, three. And four. So you lift your elbow to shoulder level and then you pivot and then you just reverse it back. Close those elbows, bring back to the ribs. Can be a little bit coordinated. But that's good. Squeezing between the shoulder blades is really big work. And stay strong in here, okay? Stop. Let's move on our arm rub. Back to the top. Round number two. You have plenty of time to work. Through the technique, your forms, and actual move, okay? 45 seconds is plenty of time. Can you start to feel your back, upper back? It's having a mild tension. So keep it really strong from the back, okay? It's very, very important posture. Fantastic, guys, you're doing good. Arms lift, squeeze. Yeah, there you go, right? Let's do the other side. You know what? I always smile. I start to laugh when I feel the burn. <laughs> I think what's the point of me being serious? Because I'm actually burning, I know. But I know I'm burning for a good reason. We're toning and shaping. We're strengthening up upper body. So this is why it's called build muscles, burn fat. You got this guys, come on, 15 seconds, two more, last one, stop in here, drop it, pick up the single, sorry, uh, lightweight, let's go. Now from this round, you're going to start to feel a big burn, okay? Because your muscle under tension. So you're keeping your pressure non-stop. You're not giving a recovery. You're non-stop working with me. And you know what? When it's burnt, when you feel the burn, this is actually when it's burning fat. Like you're cooking, you're cooking those fats. 
Let's turn the fire volume up a little bit more. Last set, okay? Drop that down. Let's do it. You see, did you hear what I said? I said, let's turn your fire volume up a bit. So you can go lift your heavy weight to feel more on your arm. Now you think about carrying a shopping bag, it's a lot heavier than this. So this is hardly anything to be honest. But do you know why it's different? Because you're focusing to work. And when you carry a shopping bag, you're not focusing working. And there's the difference. Last one guys. Change. You need to stretch that one, stretch it. Let's go. Remember to not to move your hip, okay? Keep that steady. Keep that steady, okay? Bar to chin, bar to bar. 
And the last move, we have underhand grip, one bicep curl, one bicep roll. Okay, let's go. Up, prep up. So, up, up, down, down. Lift, lift, down, down. Come back up to the lower chest. Check out your elbows. Nice and wide, okay? So this will put pressure on your shoulders, the deltoid. Keep your chest high. Keep your back straight. You're going to feel nice, pumped throughout the shoulders for that 45 seconds of lifting. We're coming to our shoulder press, okay? So stop. Split stance, lift your bar to collarbone and go forward. We go. Press it up and back to chin. Push down. Keep that back solid if you watch me from the back. On the side, you can see my back. Okay? So make sure your back is not round, straight, shoulders back, okay? Ten seconds. Press, catch. Press, catch, stop. Underhand grip. One bicep curl, one bicep roll. Let's go. So bicep curl, bicep roll. So on the curl, but elbows underneath shoulders, your barbell comes to your chest and back to your thigh. And then you bring it down to your knee, put it to your lower uh, abs, so, uh, lower belly and lift. Okay, let's go. Shoulder blade squeeze. So first one, we just practically learn the move. Get used to with the move. And you have plenty of time. Overhead grip, upright rock. Let's go. Up, up, down, down. So the whole idea of doing this, we keep that muscle under pressure. So the first block you did shoulders, second block you're doing shoulders with the barbell. So we keep loading, keep loading. If you think about it, imagine when you load your muscles, muscle has no choice but to burn the fat from those muscles and gain muscle. Okay, right now shoulder press. Split stand and we're going to go up, press. Three, two, one. Push, catch. Push. Now this barbell is not so heavy, it's 13 kilos. I'm feeling it challenging, but I'm also managing. So I know that I'm working out for nine minutes and I want to give myself something that I can handle for nine minutes with a good challenge. Yes, I'm struggling, but I'm pushing. Last one, stop. Underhand grip. Biceps curl to biceps roll. Really slow, okay? No rush. On your biceps roll, it's practically the same thing what you did with the single arm. This time you're doing a double. So if you do body pump, 
This is what we do in body pump a lot, don't we? Or we go with the music. Okay, stop in here. Let's turn the pump. Last set of upright go. Let's go. And the good news is, we're halfway through, more than halfway through for the workout. So that means we feel good. <laughs> feel good Friday. Right. Last one, guys. Stop. Split. Lift. Press. Three, two, one. You can switch your split stand and finish the rest. Great pump, right? Wow. Do that. One more, please. And stop. Over. Oh no, not yet. Almost forgot. Biceps. Last time.
triceps extension overhead. So let's show, let me show you the move. First one is the push ups. Okay, so we're going to go dropping down to the push up. Late. So last week, what we did, we hand release push ups. Today, we're not doing hand release push ups, we're going all the way down. Next move is we have one, two, hold, one, two, hold. And then we stand up for triceps. Okay, so let's get to push ups. You can come onto your knees, drop down, press your body up. Down and up. Check my elbow position. When I bring my chest down, my elbow is close to my ribs. I'm using my palm to press. You can come onto your toes and do the same. That's right. Press your body. Now, common thing that you can Focus on that your elbow's not going wide, okay? So we're gonna keep that elbow in. So for that reason, make sure you pump up closer, like in, not out. Okay, so we got mountain climbers, okay? So here we go. Single, single, double, single, single, double. One, two, three, one, two, three, let's go. So you hold, just a couple of seconds. One, two, okay? One, two, hold. One, two, hold. Did you get that? So if you are a beginner, if you're finding it hard, just do the mountain climber we did in our warm up. That's fine, okay? Or you can do one, two, hold, and then a quick child pose. So many options, okay? Drop the shoulder, sorry, 
uh, neck, back to the neck, and drive. <laughs> drive just like how you drive your car, fast as you can and strong as you can with the control. You don't want to crush. <laughs> One more, please. Awesome. Push ups. Last set. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Even if you take a time up here, it's fine. But make sure that you, your chest is almost touching the floor so that you know this is your max range, okay? And that you're pushing hard as you can. This is the last push up, by the way. So make sure you are on it. And down here, mountain climbers. Let's go team, let's go, let's go, let's go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Keep the body steady, keep that hip square, okay? Come on. Yep. Giving your best. Stretch, come back, please. Ah. Stop, pick up the weight, triceps. Last time, let's go. Good lift, guys. Down. All the way up. Absolutely burning. Feeling those muscles, small muscles on my triceps are in highest fire ever could be. But you know what? Only 15 seconds, then we get to borrow. <laughs> Last one guys, one, and stop, take it up, yeah, let's go, jump in, keep navigating, come on, 30 seconds in your active recovery, okay? Uh, this is active recovery, by the way. So you're moving nice and slow pace. You're moving your hand. This is the hardest feat, okay? So when you're swinging your hand and you're moving your legs. But no excuse for you to pick up your pace with the knee drive for the next 45 seconds. Yeah. Ready? So, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Control. I like it when it's challenging. I like it when I know that something I'm going to struggle. But I do frustrate. I do get angry as well. <laughs> but I definitely want to get it. I want to finish it, and I want to finish it the way it works for me. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shoo! I want more blood back, guys. Good. Hi guys, the next one we're mixing it up. First move, we are using the 
barbell, okay? So 10 times wide, we're doing white hand dead drop. So we're going to keep it down, white hand dead drop. Move number two, we have shoulder press but isometric. So one hand comes down, one hand stays up. And then the last move is the chest press as you come down to the floor. Take your barbell or your dumbbell, hands wide, and you down and up. So that's it. Let's do it. Okay. Take your hands wide, guys. Come back. Bend over. Lower reach to knee. Lower reach to knee. So nice and wide, okay? Keep your back solid in here, so that means your abs pressed. And beginners, what you can do, okay? One pull, one up. That's only for the beginners. Right? <laughs> Other than that, everybody stay down. Keep the pressure on the upper back, guys.
Thank you.